I always just love doing beekeeping. Now I'm at a point where I'm trying to grow and revive the industry. The development of my personal knowledge on beekeeping is something that drives me and I love sharing it with my workers. My personal aim is building the industry in Samoa. Honey is high demand in our country but it's under supply. We're trying our best to revive it. I was lucky enough to cross path with one of the most experienced beekeeper in Samoa, Mr. Lester Dean, as well as Mr. Raymond Boyd. Over here, I just tagged along with a lot of the beekeeping work. I joined trainings and I was also a member of the Beekeeping Association of Samoa at the time. So from here, my passion grew in beekeeping. Here we usually get a lot of, when we harvest, a lot of dark honey. I planted a lot of nonu. The nonu tree grows really well in, in any environment and it, it, it fruits all year round. So I wanted to provide the bees with a consistent food supply. We have a mixture of crops. We have bananas, taro, coco sambo as well. And that covers us for our income, not only income, but our food supply for our families. When I'm contacted by the person who wants to invest in beekeeping, we do a first visit. Our first site visit is looking at the surrounding environment of the farm or the land. Uh, we look for chemical usage because that impacts the bees' life. We look at the locations in, in a tr sunny, dry area all year round where there's a lot of rainfall. We also look at the altitude because the higher the altitude, less survival of the bee colonies. So we're trying to really keep it where there's a lot of sunshine and it's flat and accessibility. At times it's a bit down hardy. Then the farmer's like, oh, I was looking forward to get some honey. but. Beekeeping is not a strike and win kind of game. You gotta be patient. We get to the beehives, we suit up. After we suit up, prep our smoker. The smoke is ready, then both of us have to have a high tool in our pocket. Make our way to the hive. First things first, you add smoke to the bees, calm them down, let them know we're there. A lot of my jobs is on pro bono basis, uh, but it's fun because I look at it as a training, not as income. I look at it as a development for me and use that as our motivation, not by the income. We have hives that we do sell, so there are some people who ask us we sell them for the cover of expense, but what is really short right now is colonies. At times I felt like giving up my apron and producing honey. At times my hives were dying, I had swarming, many problems came with it. But then there was always, always a solution and I think what really helped me and pushed me is learning from the older beekeepers with the more experience. Just exploring other products that could be made from honeybee. So me and the boys um, actually tried out beeswax and I was watching a lot of YouTube videos. So from there we learned the long way of doing it. We had to boil the beeswax and extract it, filter it, boil it again. It took hours. The product came out to be really good. We got 15 kilos of beeswax and at the time I didn't have a market for it. And then just a few months ago I had someone reach out to me asking me if I had beeswax to, to sell. So I tried and I gave to them and now they keep on calling asking for more but I just don't have the time, labor or the machinery. So I'm asking Saffron for support here in this area. If I could just get a, a wax making machine that would really help me. I also needed a honey extractor. I have my own honey extractor but the capacity of it is really limited. You could do more productivity if you have a bigger one. I, I still learn something new every month because I always keep myself occupied by learning. That's what excites me. My boys, I have two boys that with me and then um, the, one of them actually passed away. So it was a really sad time in my life as well. Um, one of my boys um, lived with me and sharing that knowledge with them, it's to me the best thing because they respond. They respond to uh, how fun it is. Well, I always talk to them, don't limit yourself. I see yourself growing. So if you do your own beehives, I'll be happy to help you set up. And that this is the best I can do is share my knowledge of beekeeping with you. And then that's the knowledge that you can help uh, provide for your family.